Hey yeah, guys, Kindjad here, and welcome to my Cheapskate FIFA 12 Ultimate Team series. I have built a Russian League Team 3412 formation, and uh, it's a good looking team, but really, I've got to get used to I've never played that formation before. And really, I, felt I struggled at first to really get to grips with the formation. I guess someone that's playing 4231, a formation I've tried in the past, I'm not going to you know, hang off. Look at this guy, Schneider scores a free kick, and my goalkeeper, one of the best keepers in Russia. Doesn't even move for it. We've got to see that again. Schneider over the ball, try to move the ball to avoid it. It just goes over the wall, and the goalkeeper does not even goddamn move. Look at him again. The goalkeeper just stands there and lets it go over his head into the back of the goddamn net. And then this goes even worse. You want to talk about a farce? Look at this. I'm not pressing anything. I'm not pressing a single thing. The goalkeeper and the defender just get in each other's way all by their own choice. I didn't press a single thing. I was just going to let the goalkeeper catch it all by himself. But. The defender, the AI, just decides to crash into the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper can't catch it because of that and it just sneaks into the back of the goddamn net. So now I'm 2 0 down. Uh, I gotta go back here or break through and just squeeze it under the goalkeeper for Milton. It's, uh, it's just it's not gonna be that my day though. He breaks free again and it just easily finesses it around the goalkeeper. Pato, simple enough goal. And I threw again here, this is all in the first half, and a uh, bit of a trampy goal, but I'm losing considering the goals that I lost, is just the way that I lost them. I was just desperate to get back into the game. And Danny made it 3-2, but it's actually ended 3-2. That first of a goal, or the first goal, I mean, one of those goals, how the hell did it go in? It went in anyway. I'm against this guy next, he's got a Brazilian team. You know, kind of stand, standard par for the course Brazilian team. I open the score, and I'm actually winning now. Danny opens the score, and just a little simple finish. And Roberto Carlos does what he does best. Left foot, long shot, top corner, thank you very much. Fantastic strike. And then uh, I got a red card for this. I, there's a second booking for Zalal, but still. So I bring on someone, you know what I mean? I've got to make a change because I'm 2 0 up, but I've got to make a change because I've only got three defenders anyway in the first place. I have to take off like Danny or whatever, and I bring on another defender. But the defender doesn't seem to be there because he still gets through pretty easily enough, and Neymar gets a goal back for him and then he makes it 2-2 two, two, right at the death and he smashes it into the corner. I was absolutely devastated with this, you know. I, there's nothing I could do to prevent that. I, pick, I click extra time only, I think, here. But, and, uh, does he do it as well? What I remember. No, he try, well, I'm trying to try, try remember what he does. Ah, he clicks extra time as well. He didn't want extra time only, but that's why he clicked. And then I actually things get worse for me because I'm losing the player. The tackle button, I guess it was lag, I pressed the tackle button a lot sooner than this, but Gonzalez waited and waited and then he saw done about a second after I pressed it and completely killed the guy. It actually ended 2-2 for me, though no, I actually held on despite having 9 men. I'm still trying to get grips for the team obviously, and now I'm playing this guy. It's got a pretty nice, mainly French team. Got company and David Lewis and check at the back guy, but other than that it's a pretty nice French team. Ben Arthur opens a scoring for him. They start of the game, simple diving header. The game was a bit laggy for me. It was tough for me to get a grips with, just the kind of lag it was in this game, and then it's a so cool long range effort, and the goalkeeper cannot keep it out. I'm having serious reservations about this goalkeeper, he's meant to be the best Russian goalkeeper, well, best Russian goalkeeper and Russian league goalkeeper, same thing really. And then I get a penalty kick here when some fancy footwork bamboozles his defence, and I get a penalty kick for it, hooray, and I somehow score despite the goalkeeper going the right way. I got a bit lucky there to get that goal, I think, but it's 2 1. But then he makes it free here. I cannot get the ball to the ball in the corner, and company just heads it home. And then I make a new move here, and I bring my goalkeeper all the way out here. Never going to get it. And I'm not allowed to move my player towards the ball on the line. <laughs> it's just. It was not my day in this game. Look at this, the long celebration. This guy, guy this, this guy was. He loved the long celebrations. He loved being a douche. I lose 4 1. This team is impossible for me to get grips with right now. And then I play a Sky 4, 3 2 information. He's got a big shiny blue card, he's got Benzema up front. But I think he's actually start brightly for me because I'm through and goal here, cut inside, and a simple finish into the bottom corner. Welton, such a devastating player. And I think it's getting better for me because I cut inside again, Ronaldo chop. And then the ball just breaks to Martins, and somehow this goes in. One of the scrappiest goals you'll ever see that rather fast black man score. And then I get to three. Danny just smashes it in. He went and knocks it by the defender. And just smashes it into the back of a net. But I guess I go back here from Mitchell, smashes it into the far corner. I gave him too much time. I think I was expecting a pass or something. And then he pauses it as soon as he scores. God knows why. 
Uh, but 3 1 to me, and I make it 4 1. I just persevere, I get through, and I get the rebound into the back of the net. A pretty fortunate goal for me, but I'm 4 1 up. And then, I, yeah, look at the top right hand corner. No reason, I just don't mind to see that goal. I, okay, I tramped it a wee bit. I mean, I'm, I'm through and go. It, it doesn't give it an effective result anyway. Or would it actually have? Because look at this, he gets a goal back here, so it's 5 2 now. David Villa, this guy's got a break of demon, remember? David Villa, and then look at the deflection, breaks so perfectly for him. David Villa scores yet again, it is now 5 3. The comeback is on, but not for long because he fills me right in the box and I get a penalty kick. And he can't really have any objections to that, he completely knocked me right over Mars and set me flying. So I step over a penalty kick and smash it past the stranded goalkeeper, well within. As usual, I didn't even have any qualms about him taking the penalty. 6 3 to me, and that's going to be 7 3 after Martin just dribbles his way inside, jinks his way in and out, and makes it 7 3 to in competition. And that's how the game ends. Finally, I got a victory with his team, and I got a bit of confidence now that I got a great victory with him. I changed back to the All Mayors team, you know, the kind of mainly Serie A and the Span and the Britain, the Prem Barclays Premier League. Style up front. I mean, it's this guy's got a Bon Lahore up front in his own 4 4 1 1 formation. On paper, a good team. Oh my god, look at that. I block the shot and it falls perfectly for Bramble and the goalkeeper's down as well. And then a Bon Lahore, pace, 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 gets away from me. So frustrating. God damn it. So I'm 2 0 down and then 3 0 down and I'm Bon Lahore again. He's such an overpowered player, it's unreal. I've not come across him much in this game. But I'm 3-0 down, you think it's game over because I'm 3-0 down? No, I don't give up. Fernando Torres gets a goal straight back to get it back into the game. And then the ball breaks to Torres again. And he just, well, sorry, it can't be asked what it breaks to. And he smashes it into the corner to make it 3-2. And then Arteta shows great skill here and strength to get by his man. And he rolls it off the post and then it is free each. I was 3-0 down and now it is free each. That is how the game ends. And uh, as actually you can see here, uh, uh, coming up soon. I'm waiting to see what he picks before I pick anything, and it looks like he hasn't picked anything yet, it's still flashing. So I pick extra time only, thinking okay, he's not picked yet. And as soon as I do that, the game ends. So I'm assuming he picked something different, and it just didn't show me in my screen, I don't know. This has been King Jad, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.